Wow, it looks so much better in the flesh. So this is a brand new Pinarello Dogma F, and as you can see, it's surrounded by some of the bikes that came before it. With a Dogma 2 over there, the 65.1 Think 2 just here, the F8, and then the F12. And you can see the evolution of the Pinero Dogma right in front of you. So we can take a look at this bike in detail, go through some of the changes and how it's evolved over the years and how it's been such a successful race bike for Team Sky and then Team Ineos. Now, sadly, I'm not allowed to ride this bike because my local bike shop, Ride 24-7, have apparently sold it already, but they have kindly allowed me to film it and share it with you today. So if you want to take a closer look at the bike yourself, well, Ride 24-7 is a place to come to. The details are down below. It's fair to say the Dogma is a design classic. Many grand tours to its name, and it's a bike that has changed a lot over the years as well. And you really see that by this Dogma 2, which came about when Team Sky formed in 2010. So this is one of the first frames they raced at Tour of France on. And you can really see how the frame has changed. Back then, Pinarello had this really distinctive, curvy design for the rear stays and the fork that some people loved or hated. Personally, I think it looked pretty cool. It definitely stood out in the pro peloton and in the local bike shop. So that is a bike they used over 10 years ago. And then that turned into the Dogma 65.1 Think 2. Again, very similar design language, but more improvements in terms of weight and stiffness. And this is a bike, of course, that Bradley Wiggins won the 2012 Tour of France on. So this bike really is a legend, a modern day classic, and I think it still looks really good. Distinctive rear stays and a fork blade, nice bowed top tube, and a, yeah, good looking bike. And this one, as you can see, has a Campagnolo 80th anniversary group set on it, not the Shimano dual race the team would have used. Um, top marks to the uh, stem and um, Wahoo computer on this one. So that's how the Dogma used to look over 10 years ago, very distinctive. And then in 2014, the curves of the old Dogma 2 and 65.1 Think 2 gave way to the new F8. So this was a radical redesign and the focus, as you can clearly see, was all about aero. And this bike reset the blueprint for the Dogma F10 that came after it the F12, which you have over there, and then the Dogma F. The Dogma F8 was so called, with the F standing for Fausto, the boss of Pinarello, and eight for the eighth generation Dogma. The bike was developed with Team Sky and Jaguar, the car sponsor of the team at the time, and a real big focus on aerodynamics, CFD testing and wind tunnel verifying to ensure this frame was faster than the bike that came before it. A key feature of the F8 was the flat back down tube profile, so a truncated cam tail profile designed to give the weight and stiffness performance characteristics, but also the aero of that tube profile as well. And then we have a really deep aero head tube with that small pronounced chin on the front, really deep bladed under fork, and then an aero seat tube and seat post, and then slightly aero rear stays as well. And the rear stays compared to the previous Dogma are now dropped below the top tube as well, giving us a very familiar design language that we've all come to know very well over the years. But this bike rears a key bike in the Dogma history, a big step forward from the old Dogmas behind me. And really the big focus on aero was reflected in the wider industry with most bike brands really going after aerodynamics to give their racing team the best edge in terms of racing performance possible. And the changes made on this Dogma F8 all the way back in 2014 are still seen now in 2021 in the brand new Dogma F. The Dogma F10 came in 2017 and the F12 in 2019. 
And while you can see the F8 in both of these bikes in terms of the frame profiles and the tube shapes, each one was more aero, stiffer and lighter than the one that came before it. Looking at these frames closely, you can see the subtle evolution from the F8 to the F10 and the F12. Most noticeably in the down tube, the bottom bracket area, the rear stays and around the head tube as well. But really the fundamental design language from the F8 is really present in both of these frames here. And as I talked about earlier, frame weight was never a focus for Pinarello and these frames weren't really much lighter than the ones that came before it. Kind of cool to see a Team Ineos colorway here as well. It looks really cool, doesn't it? And while well, you probably know as much as I do, so it's more aero, it's stiffer, and it's lighter. And you see the changes up close. So we have a one-piece carbon fiber aero handlebar and stem with all the cables and hoses on this disc brake model inside for clean lines and minimum drag. We have a brand new down tube with this double step design. The idea to shield the water bottle from the airflow around the down tube. And then we have a brand new rear seat stay assembly flared out from the fat seat tube. The idea to better flow air around the area of the frame and a quite noticeable kink down there as well. The new Dogma F is available with disc brakes or rim brakes, which Team Ineos Grenadier are using in the Tour of France at the time of making this video. And they're claimed aero improvements for each version. The rim brake version is claimed 3.2% more aero or less drag than the old bike, while the disc brake version is a 4.8% improvement. The bottom bracket area has been massively beefed up over the old version, and they claim an improvement of 12% in frame stiffness. So when you're putting out the watts, when you're sprinting, this isn't gonna flex at all. Weight has never been a target for the Pinero Dogma, and they've always been around 850 grams or thereabouts. This version with these light weights weighs just over seven kilograms with a frame weight of about 850 grams for the disc brake version we have here and 820 grams for the rim brake version. What the Dogma F isn't is cheap and a frame set alone will set you back 5,400 pounds. And then there's a choice of two builds Shimano Durace Di2 at about £11,000 and a SRAM Red ETAP Access as we have here at just over £12,000. But I'll put the prices down below because they may change after this video. This bike, as you can see, has had a series of wheel upgrade already with a nice set of lightweight Milestein Evo wheels, which takes the price up to about £15,000. But this is the bike you want to get if you want to copy Ineos Grenadier because they are using lightweight wheels when a race gets into the mountains, when weight really matters, these are wheels they choose. It is amazing to see such an impressive collection of Pinarello dogmas in one place like this and really the opportunity to see the evolution of this frame over the last 10 years. And my goodness me, hasn't it changed a lot from the old Dogma 2 with all the curves to the F8 and then to the brand new Dogma F. And here's a question for you. Which of these bikes here, if you're allowed to keep one, would you keep? For me, probably the F8, I think, as a, a radical step forward. I think it still looks good today even if it has these old fashioned rim brake things. But let me know which bike down below you would uh, keep forever if you could. The new Dogma F, the old 65.1 Think 2, F12 maybe, let me know down below. It is quite incredible to see how much this bike has changed over the years. And also to relate it to all that Team Sky and Team Inor success, which have given us the first British winner of the Tour de France ever. And this bike, it's a bike that a team owes all that success to. Yes, the ride does all the work, but the bike is still fundamental to that success as well. And Pinarello has done a lot of work to evolve the bike over the years to meet the requirements of Team Ineos Grenadiers. And if you want to see this collection of bikes for yourself in the flesh, ride 24-7 in Sirencester, it's a place to come. 
I'll put the details down below. They kindly allowed me to share these bikes with you in this video. And I've never seen such an amazing collection of bikes. So what are you waiting for? Get down here and have a look for yourself and have a look at this brand new Pinarello Dogma F while it's still here. Anyway, that is all for now. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you all again next time. Thanks for watching.